Hello folks, and welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 Beginner Series. I know I said I was going to do this one in a one-off video, but separating it into different parts will let me go more in-depth and make it easier for y'all to find the parts that y'all need by being able to go to different videos, so we're going to make a little series out of it. So, first things first, you need to get Unreal Engine 5, if you don't have it already. So if you don't know where to get it, you just gotta go get this Epic Games Launcher and under the Unreal Engine tab at the very top you'll see this UE5 button. Right here you can download it and then once it's installed it should pop up in your library. So once you have that, click that launch button and you will be greeted with this screen. This is the new Unreal Project Browser. So right at the top you'll see there's recent projects where if you have any projects you want they'll be here or you have different template shortcuts over here. So for people who are using it for make movies or yeah you know. So ours we're going to go into the games tab click the third person one. Right here you can specify where you want the project to be saved all the assets all the everything about it. And right here you can specify the name of it. So name it what you want to, click that create button, and you will be greeted with this. So this is the new layout in Unreal Engine 5. They got a much bigger viewport, they automatically go with the dark theme. It looks nice. One thing I don't like about it though, if you hold control and then tap the space bar, you can see that they got this content drawer, I think they call it now. I don't really dig that personally, because every time I you drag something out it'll close it so what I like to do is there's this button right here called dock in layout and it takes it back to more of a classic UE4 look so let's get the project set up we're gonna import the assets that we are going to use for this little series I'm gonna close that so under the marketplace all these assets are free so right here at the home screen just search stylized click max price the free button and I'm gonna be using the stylized nature pack for the environment type in advanced max price free again and I'm use the advanced village pack for some of the decorative assets type in fantasy free and I'm gonna use this fantasy music pack so once those three things are imported, we'll get the character set up. I've already imported those. I haven't imported the character yet, so let's take a look at that. We're going to be using a Mixamo character, namely this leaf girl right here, because I like the look. It works for a little platforming game. So you'll get whatever character you want to use, and then you'll get some animations for her. We'll need an idle, a walk, a run a jump and a double jump. Now there's lots of videos out there about Mixamo and all that so the only animation I'm gonna show you is the double jump one because the specific one I have, I'm using for this just type in running flip and it should be this just very first one. It's the only one that will let you click this in place button. All the animations for this character have to be in place so that we can use them right. So I'm just going to make a small alteration to it and I'm going to trim it. So I'm going to move this to 20 and this back to 83 so that it starts at frame 20 and ends at 83 just so it's this smooth flip transition. So once you've got that downloaded, we'll go into the engine. The first thing I like to do is uh, over here in the content browser part you'll see all the different folders for everything we just imported so here's that village pack there's the music there's that nature pack and under the third person BP folder this is generally where I use as like my master folder uh, but once you start getting a lot of things imported it can get lost pretty easily so I like to right click it and set the color I'm going to set its color to the main folder is going to be 0.5 on the blue just for this dark blue color and then the blueprints folder I'm going to set its color to kind of a sky blue baby blue whatever you want to call it that so the first one is just 
on that one is zero zero and then this one's 0 0.5.50 and with that done I'll double click and open it up highlight the third person character and I'm gonna F, uh, push F2 on the keyboard to rename it I'm gonna call it player underscore BP then we will right click create a new folder called character double click and open that up and create two more new folders one called animations and one called components so the reason I'm doing this is because when you import a character like the Mixamo character it'll come with a bunch of different pieces like there'll be the skeletal mesh the materials the textures so let me show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna go find where I have her saved where ah alright so here are here's the character and all the animations I'm gonna be using so first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you import the character first so that it will generate the skeleton so that the animations when they're imported can be bound to that skeleton so I'm gonna highlight the character open that and pretty much just leave this all as it is you like skeleton you want to leave that none so that it doesn't try to apply an existing skeletal asset to her this way it just imports hers with her so we'll import all takes a minute sometimes it pops up and says no smoothing group I don't ever it says that every single time I'm not really sure what all that entails but it doesn't really affect anything I've noticed so these are all the components of the character so we have the textures that make up her material this is her skeleton and a physics asset and then this is the actual skeletal mesh so now that we have her imported let's go into the animations folder and I'll import all the animations that I have you want to make sure not to re-import the character though so I'll open that and under mesh the skeleton that you want to apply is the skeleton that came in with her then we will import all and then you'll see we got all the animations for her. so with all that done our project is officially set up and in the next video we will start putting the character together with her movement and abilities and all that so see you in a few